So I did this mega fest with uh, T.D. Jakes. No, Diddy. I did, did, uh, did T.D. Jakes. There you go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Lavelle. You was trying to sneak no, out. No, no, no. Only reason I said it, Diddy wasn't there then. <laughs> <laughs> man, get the veil, man. <laughs> I mean, man, we gonna swallow that and move on. Okay. Man, 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 man. Come on, the veil. <laughs> no, did it. It's just real strange that he would be found at any kind of Diddy party or any kind of uh, place with Diddy, unless it's in a business atmosphere. So now what he's doing is he's making, he, 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 man, he's making the Christians look real bad right about now. And you've been to these parties, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was there when he was doing the white parties in the Hamptons and the whole nine yards. So I know what goes on at the parties. If, you know, they probably got a little bit more freakier, you know, as time went on, you know, because they got to the point where is that they didn't even care. It used to be secretly, you know, where people used to go to, you know, separate rooms and different rooms and they wasn't doing that out in the public, you know, so, but now they don't care. Many celebrities have recently spoken out about Bishop T. G. Jake's startling and rather scandalous links with music tycoon P. Diddy. We've all heard reports about them being a power couple at Diddy's infamous freight parties, right? And now, comedian Lavelle Crawford, who we didn't expect to speak out, is throwing gasoline to the flames. That's right, Lavelle is stepping into the spotlight to reveal his own thoughts on Pastor Jake's twisted relationship with Scene Diddy Combs. And trust me, it goes much deeper than a few visits to Diddy's estate. We're talking about sacrifices, hush-hush money, and so much more for people who may not know. Lavo Crawford is not new to the entertainment scene. He's been around the block and knows many individuals, including Cat Williams. So when he speaks, people listen. Lavo has the inside scoop, and we have every reason to think that what he's saying isn't simply idle gossip. His bold remarks add a fresh layer to the continuing buzz, making this story even more compelling. Now let us talk about Bishop T.D. Jakes. Jake's known for his forceful sermons and charismatic personality, has established an empire around his status as a spiritual leader and mentor. He has millions of followers who look up to him not only as a bishop, but also as a source of faith and inspiration. However, it appears there is more to the story than meets the eye. Behind the scenes, Jake's has been working hard to keep his relationship with P. Diddy a secret worried that any public link with the music tycoon would tarnish his carefully cultivated image. With Laval Crawford's recent words, Jake's greatest worries appear to be coming true. Laval isn't holding back, and his revelations have created quite a stir. According to Laval, T.D. Jakes and P. Diddy have deeper relationships than most people understand, and he isn't scared to bring them to light. Jake has scrambled to end the conversation anxiously trying to maintain his appearance as a loyal bishop. The tension is apparent, and Jakes is allegedly outraged that Laville is bringing it up now when he is trying to maintain his public persona. He's been doing everything he can to suppress the rumors and keep his relationship with P. Diddy a secret. But with Laville's connections and business reputation, it's becoming increasingly difficult for Jakes to keep this explosive knowledge under wraps. So, what is actually going on here? Why is T.D. Jake so determined to keep his relationship with P. Diddy hidden? And what did Lavo Crawford say to rile up the bishop? With Lavo Crawford's recent words, Jake's greatest worries appear to be coming true. During an interview, Lavo told a humorous but pointed story about his time at Megafest with T.D. Jakes. So I did this Megafest with uh, T.D. Jakes. No, Diddy. I did, did, uh, did, did, did. There you go. Come on. Come on, Lavelle. You was trying to sneak no, out. No, no, no. Only reason I said Diddy wasn't there then. The context here is critical. Lavelle's original reply, no, Diddy wasn't there, was intended as a joke about Diddy and Jake's frequent appearances in the same circles and at the same events. It was a fun jibe. 
but its strepichord, hinting at the deeper connections between these two prominent figures. Jakes is apparently outraged that Labil is bringing this up now, when he is trying to maintain his public persona. He's gone to great lengths to dispel suspicions and conceal his relationship with P. Giddy. However, given Laville's professional connections and credibility, Jakes is finding it increasingly difficult to keep this explosive knowledge under wraps. And you know what? That wasn't even all that he said about the rapper and the bishop, he added. I mean, man, we gonna swallow that and move on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, 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 no diddy. I, I, I gotta take another drink. Yeah, you, go. you, you might need to pull you one too. <laughs> no, that's that, 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 that's that's the symptoms of that cognac. See, that, that slipped out. I was, my my brain was like, no, don't do it. My tongue said, F that. We gonna do that. <laughs> There has been a lot of talk about a video involving Bishop T.D. Jakes that has been circulating online. It has truly gotten people's attention. Yes, it has been all over social media. So in this video, Bishop Jakes delivers a sermon to a congregation. But here's a twist. He's expressing something unexpected, especially coming from someone recognized for his Orthodox Christian beliefs. Instead of following the typical script, he appears to be pushing people to accept their homosexuality and come out of the closet. Wow, that is a huge shift from his regular teachings. But it's not only what he says, but how he says it. He apparently used some improper words, such as slipping the word swallowing in there. Yeah, that bit did raise some eyebrows. People thought that was improper, especially given the sensitivity of the topic he was discussing. I would have been, and I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been eaten up? Lagel then decided to add to the drama by weighing in. He used the same term devouring in his response, seemingly mocking Jake's and his message. It appears that this man enjoys stirring the pot, right? It's like a debate between opposing viewpoints. But do you know what is interesting? Despite all of the commotion, it sparked some crucial questions about how T.D. Jakes, a church pastor, is saying all of this. Everyone is scratching their heads after seeing the clip you saw. What's up with his tone and the way he emphasizes the term swallowing? Why that term, of all words? Then he asks if anyone has ever had to swallow. Excuse me, that's not your average church sermon content. And this is when things become increasingly crazier. There's been a lot of speculation regarding Jake's connections to some questionable figures, such as Diddy. You know those whispers about him being involved in certain, shall we say, unusual activities. It's like, whoa, what's going on behind the scenes? And now he's preaching about accepting homosexuals and coming out of the closet. It's like a plot twist no one saw coming. It's like, hang up, TD. Aren't you supposed to practice what you preach? Many people now believe they can no longer trust what he says. It's more than just feeling strange about his delivery or choice of words. It is about calling into doubt the whole sincerity of his leadership. Can we truly take his message seriously if there's a big question mark over his head? Bingo! It's almost as if we're watching a real-life soap opera. And we're all just trying to figure out what's up with Bishop Jakes and his message. With Lavel dropping this bombshell about Diddy and Jakes spending time together, it's as if he's opening a Pandora's box of industry rumor. His casual statement isn't simply about these two huge names attending the same parties or shaking hands at events. No, it's far deeper than that. Lavel is implying a whole other level of connection one that transcends the professional veneer. He's poking us, implying that there's some significant intimacy going on behind closed doors. We're talking about rumors of non-business ties. If you catch my drift, we're looking into stories of wild parties, possibly illegal pranks, and who knows what else. Fans have even begun to point out online that their relationship is unusual. One user said, did he post an unsolicited update about himself using a tunnel visual and having T.D. Jakes narrate it? It has got to be the most insane batch of choices I've seen in a while. Let's apply the brakes for a second. 
We must remember that this is all guesswork and her say, right? But wow, does it cast a light on the rumors that circulate in the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry? Lavelle's words shocked fans and industry experts alike, stirring conversations and stoking gossip mills everywhere. It's a stark reminder of how blurry the line between fame, power, and personal lives can become in Hollywood. And Label isn't the only one who blamed Jakes for this poor action. In April, the entertaining Monique took the stage in Louisville, Kentucky, armed with her typical wit and shameless comedy. She had her sights set on two huge names, Bishop T.D. Jakes and Tyler Perry. Monique was not one to avoid sensitive topics, and this night was no exception. During her passionate stand-up act, Monique decided to address Jake's recent sermon, in which Jake utilized the metaphor of coming out of the closet to encourage his congregation to accept their true selves. Now Monique being Monique, she took that metaphor and spun it in her own unique way, using her no-holds-board style. Monique remarked, how is this about sucking on the pulpit? I'm like, yes, I have swallowed. Have you? Yes, she got there, transforming Bishop Jake's metaphor into a bold punchline that had the audience laughing. It was classic Monique, breaking boundaries and generating headlines with her outspoken remarks. And you can guarantee that her response to T.D. Jake's sermon had people talking for days. This wasn't Monique's first time calling out figures in Hollywood and the entertainment industry. She's never been afraid to speak her opinion, especially when it comes to what she perceives as hypocrisy and unfair treatment in the profession. Her current performance was no exception. In reality, it appeared to be a continuation of the pattern. Even Jean Deal, Puffy's former security, agreed with the two comedians. Get right into it, man. How you feel about these rumors surrounding, you know, Diddy and T.D. Jakes? Man, what I think about it is this, you know, when I grew up in the church, the sinners was not supposed to have the same atmosphere with the saints. You had to be able to separate the two. So I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication, Man on man, woman on woman, he on she. But maybe he there to lay some hands on somebody. Maybe he there to save some souls. I know he got a contract with Revolt. So I'm just like, it, it's just real strange that he would be found at any kind of Diddy party or any kind of uh, place with Diddy unless it's in a business atmosphere. And why would a religious man like himself be at a party which it ain't nothing but sin that's going on, bro. Whether it's drinking, maybe fornicating, maybe, like I said, men on men, women on women. It, it, it's hard to, 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 to put in perspective unless he's involving himself what is actually going on at the parties. With so many people calling out the bishop, it appears that things may get a little tricky for him. They've been fairly hard on him lately, pun intended, because of this one lawsuit filed against Diddy. For those of you who don't grasp the connection between Diddy and the fake pious man, let me explain briefly. Seen Diddy Combs found himself in hot trouble after Rodney Lil Rod Jones, his former producer, filed a lawsuit against him. Jones apparently alleged that Diddy had a plan to utilize his relationship with the bishop to soften the blow of another lawsuit from Diddy's ex-girlfriend. The complaint, filed in February in New York, seeks a stunning $30 million in damages. Church leaders brought this to light, casting a significant light on the legal drama unfolding in the music mogul's life. A with the lawsuit against him and the dramatic raids on his properties by federal authorities, it's no surprise that questions are being raised, particularly about his relationship with T.D. Jake. Aaron Dyer, Diddy's attorney, did not mince words, blasting the raids as a blatant overuse of military-level force and emphatically denying Diddy's guilt. Despite this legal upheaval, 
The spotlight has returned to Bishop Jakes and his suspected ties to the hip hop entrepreneur. Let's go back to 2022, when a video appeared showing Jakes at a party held to commemorate Diddy's 53rd birthday in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. Naturally, this film did not go ignored. It sparked a flurry of curiosity regarding the nature of their connection. Was it all business or is there more to it? As a director, executive producer, and pioneer of value-based films, Bishop Jakes, CEO of TD Jakes Entertainment, paid tribute to the former chairman of Revolt on his birthday. Derek Williams, executive vice president of TD Jakes Entertainment, spoke to the Christian Post about the video. Bishop Jakes was in Los Angeles for crucial business meetings, and we believed that making a quick appearance at the former chairman of Revolt's birthday party was the appropriate thing to do because Jake's sermons are broadcast on the Revolt Network. He stated, We both met the family, and Bishop Jake's taped a little birthday video before leaving to attend our other scheduled engagements. Any accusation to the contrary is completely unfounded, unverified, and false. Williams continued, Their connection extends even farther. In a notable move in 2021, Scene Diddy Combs made waves by unveiling a new weekly series featuring none other than Jake's, slated to air on Revolt TV, the media firm he runs. Bishop Jake's himself expressed enthusiasm for the collaboration, emphasizing its potential to reach a younger audience. 